mm. the small island really in many respects are in the front line because they will be affected by uh, some increase in the number of extreme events, floods, droughts, uh, a tropical cyclone, but also they are going to be threatened by the sea level rise. And on top of that, their capacity to adapt is very limited because of their size. So actually, they are in a very, very fragile and uh, difficult situation. Well, we, we are concerned, of course, because we care about people, and one of the main functions of the med services around the world is to help the protection of uh, uh, protection of citizens and properties. Uh, you know, many people still die out of extreme events and we have a duty, it's one of our priorities, to help provide early warnings so that we can save even more lives and on top of it that we can minimize the economic impact of that. We can still improve further the quality of the forecast, the quality of the warnings, so that countries and communities have more lead time to take action. We need, first of all, to educate people how to make use of these forecasts. But it's also to educate people how to integrate information in the whole uh, decision uh, cycle uh, when planning, for example, please don't build things in a place which might be at risk of, uh, of tsunami, of flooding, of uh, storm surge. Um, at the same time, can we also educate uh, train the people who will have to make decisions, uh, disaster managers, uh, relief operation, uh, governments, how to make best use of this information. If we don't do this investment, next time uh, an extreme event comes, it will wipe out years of development effort. And we have seen that over and over uh, again in, in many developing countries where you get a tropical cyclone, hurricane, or, or a storm surge, whatever. And it's wiping out years of development. So better to invest in prevention, and it costs much less than to put money in rehabilitation and post-disaster action. The weather doesn't recognize any border, so international cooperation is absolutely essential. And when it comes to small islands, because they are small, some of them don't even have the critical mass, they cannot do it alone. So cooperation is absolutely essential to deal with these issues. Think about the small island in the Pacific. If we improve the weather observation, the climate observation of the Pacific, this is of direct benefit to them, but this is also of indirect benefit to the larger countries because better observation of the Pacific means better forecasts for China, for Japan. To improve the quality of early warnings for all the disasters which are threatening these small, uh, these small islands, but also uh, how to, to advise on how to make use of these uh, early warnings, not only at the individual level, but at the level of uh, uh, municipalities, at the level of uh, government. At the same time, some of these predictions, when it comes to longer time scale, like the climate time scales, are in forms of probabilities, scenarios. It's not always easy to use by the final user, by the farmers, by the fishermen, and indeed even by governments. So the idea is to transform this information, to package it in a way which can be used by decision makers, from governments to, uh, to the fishermen. And this is one of the top priorities of the organization, to develop these climate services which can be used by all decision makers. Time is not on our side. If we want to have a chance to keep the global warming to less than two degrees globally, we need to reach a peak of emission over the next 15, uh, 15, 20 years, and then to decrease dramatically to zero equivalent emission in about uh, 50, 60 years from now. So this is, a, this is a huge challenge, and the more we, this is why it's urgent, the more we wait, 
the more difficult it will be and therefore the more expensive it will be and if we don't manage that the more expensive it will be for uh, countries to adapt to climate change and as you know small countries and in particular small island developing states uh, do not have a uh, huge capacity, a huge financial, technological capacity. So we are going to leave them a situation which is extremely uh, difficult to, to manage. It's urgent to act, otherwise it will not be manageable.